Guys, so welcome back to the part number two series. So in this video, I'm going to cover up the uh, add to cart functionality using block pattern. So in the last video, if you watched that, we have to simply display the product listing here. So let's uh, move to the block pattern here. As you see, we also have add to packages inside the popspack.yaml file where we define the equitable package and the flutter underscore block. So these are the two packages that needs to be uh, in your in your popspack.yaml file, right? For the dependent dependencies right so let's go into the main dot dot file and we haven't do anything so first change that directory so i need to go right inside my lib folder i'm, I'm going to create another folder with the name of block and uh, we need to have three files or two files for now the first file that we need to have here is let's give it the um, or make the folder first so add underscore two underscore cart underscore block so that indicates that that this is the uh, I, actually i need to create the folder for this so just delete that and create here a folder right so add underscore two underscore odd underscore block which is always be a good convention that you follow that you must have a separate folder for individual block so let's create here a file with the name of add underscore two underscore card underscore block dot dot file all right, so I also need to create here event. As you know, the block consists of three main components, which is the uh, event state and the block, right? So let's create another file with the name of add underscore two underscore cart underscore event dot dot file. And the last file we need for now is add underscore two underscore cart underscore state dot dot file. So these are the files that are essential for, for the block pattern to implement that. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to work with the events. So for the events, uh, make sure that we ha we have to use here an equitable package. So so the equitable package is a mix in that provide a simple way to compare objects for equality. So I'm going to create here a class of um, a card even, which should be abstract class. So I need to create that here. All right, so abstract class card even and that should be extended with the equitable as i explained so this is very violent so this basically compares the objects so a base class to facilitate operator equal to an hash code override yeah, as you could see in the documentation so it overrides uh, equal uh, equal to and the hash, hash code methods of the class to compare each fields of an object so first i need to override here let's override the list of objects it should be empty uh, so a list objects get props of this and make this empty for now so what actually it means so by default the props getter returns an empty list so the list indicating that the class has no properties needs to be checked for equality so let's just just make that empty for now so let's go inside uh, outside of the abstract class and I need to create here an event with the name of add to card so this is the event this is the event which we will fire to the block and it will return the state of it so first extend that with the help of card event and right inside here I need to, need to define my product model and which should be product and we need to define here like a constructor so add to card here and define this dot product and I need to actually import that model right up to it. All right, so let's define and override it here. Now here, I need to define my product right inside the the, uh, the list, just like I defined an empty on the top. Here, I need to define that, that, uh, uh, that product inside my props. And the reason why, because we need to, we need to fire all the name price and the id so right inside my my um, block so that it can so that it can list all the data and return to the new state so uh let's define here product right inside this and that's it that's what we need for the event now i need to go back to the card state and that's the state so so when 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 the state changes so when a product is added or removed from the card so a new card state object is created with the updated list of the products and the ui is re rebuilt to reflect the new states so that's why we need to build here a card state so class of card state and we need to define here final list of product 
and we need to def let's give it the name of card items for now and uh, we need to make this uh, constructor define it construct so this dot product uh, sorry this dot card item for now and let's import here the model for the product so i just simply import that here so that's the uh, very basic very basic state uh, and and the even for it so now we have to define the block here so for implementing the block there are a few things that you need to understand so the block class is very simple just simply make a class of back block and extend to the block now this is coming from the block and remember that this block should be um, this this block gives us to the two things here so the first is the card event that we created already so that's a card event and then next we have a card state and right after the card state, i just need to import that real quick so we can define um, the state of that right all right so let's define the constructor and card block and we need to make a super constructor and let's define here the state of it so card state remember it should bring us the uh, state oops so card state and which is the um, empty for now right so the state only gets when we have events inside the state so right after that there's one more way right inside those um, um card state i need to define the uh, parenthesis here and here the, that's the uh, format you can define on and bring up here the card event and also we need to define the map even to state so this is the actually this is the method or the which converts the map even to state so uh, this is the method which we need to define down down here so right after that let's create here a future of type void and we need to create that map even to state remember that the spelling should be very much similar to that so map even to state and this map even to state give us the card event and let's define here event and emitter which emits the states so we have to define here the event state and uh, let's give it the emit. so basically that will emit the uh, state um sorry actually it should be card state not the event state right so that's the part of it and this should be async because we are going to use here future that's why this should be async and you remember that the future is an asynchronous computation cannot produce a result immediately when it is started right so it only returns a value when it is completed when the state is completed right so let's define the event in that way that's here you see here we define the event so if the event is add to card remember we define that event right here inside my event class for the dark and uh, if that event is add to cart so we have to update the cart and the reason why because we have to update because once one product is added we are actually updating the cart so give it the na variable name of updated cart equal to list of product and that product will be added soon as soon we are adding more products so i need to import that product model here and dot from and we have to define the state so it will take the state so state dot part items and uh, we need to put that in the in in add that into the list so that's the add method so it should be dot dot add so we can access the uh, event dot product all right so that's simple as that so basically what it does that we created here a class of block and it gives the extent with the block which produce event and the state we define the map even to state so this actually convert the event into the state very useful method and this emitter is a is a class which is capable of emitting new state we get the updated card variable and this this will this will add the product whenever we click on the add to card button this will add the product inside the list of the updated card and that's the way how we can present that and definitely we are working with the state so we need to emit that and we have to emit that inside the card state that we created 
and let's bring up the uh, updated card. So all the list of the products will be emit here. I'm going to define here the breakpoint so that I can show you guys once we add the product. Yes, we can see the message of the add to cart, but we need to see that either the products are adding to the cart or not. So let's go back to the product list screen and go to the to the very major add to cart on press button. All right, so that's where we have to define our block. So all you need to do, go right inside the on press button and define here final and uh, create here a variable card block equal to context.read. So whenever we need to fetch the event, so there is a way context.read and uh, right inside, uh, I think context.read and we have to define here card block because we are accessing it even from the card block. And right after this, we need to show some message. So let's create here a full messenger um, dot of context and uh, dot show snack bar. And uh, right inside here, we have to create snack bar. And this will give us the content and the uh, duration. So for the content, I need to define content text and uh, let's give it the uh, product added to cart. All right, just uh, oops. Um, it should be R C so you guys could see. All right, so product added to the cart, and uh, there is a, another property after the content. Let's uh, duration of. Let's give it the duration of two seconds. So duration of uh, two seconds. So seconds two, all right, that's it. All right, so notice you see that at this card block, oh, oops, actually one thing I miss here, we haven't defined any event. So to define the event card block dot, and we have to add the event. So this should be, uh, this should take the event here. So the event name is add to card, and we have defined the product. So once the product has been added once we click on the add so all the products added to the card takes the uh, input as an event and then we go to the block pattern and we are emitting all the states so and it's update the card put that all into some list of the updated card and then emit the new state right so that's as simple as that so let's go to the main dot dot file and i'm going to refresh this and see if everything works well so let me go to the terminal and see things are working fine. So it's now restarted and let's go to our application. If I click on here, so it shows some error. It says that they could not find the correct provider card block above the sliver list. So to, to, to remove this error, I need to go to my main dot dot file because we need to define here the block provider inside the, uh, inside the providers. So you see, you can see that error on the, uh, even it's not shows on the, on my emulator. So in order to remove this error, so if none of the solution works, it's like this. So we need to pro provider, define the provider card block. So, so I'm, I need to go to my, to my main dot dart file. So right up to it, material app. If you want to use multi block, you can use multi-block provider. Uh, if you don't have multiple blocks, in my case, I'm gonna use multi-block provider because we are gonna use more than one. So multi-block provider. And right inside multi-block provider, we have a providers. So inside providers, I'm gonna define my block provider. And this is gonna create the context. So let's define here context and define the block that we have, which in my case is card block, all right? that's as simple as that. All right, so just simply import this here, and there we are, right? So if I just now refresh this, and I hope this is now gonna work, right? So I refresh this, then let's go back here, and if I'm gonna click on the on the uh, icon button, and as you could see, I use here a breakpoint, it takes me to here, and it's gonna add one product. So I just click on the product one, and if I just run this, and I hope this also shows the message product added to the card. Let's add the product five here. And if I just simply hover on it and just open up that one and you see the product five also added to the card. All right, so the last one, let's add one more. Add the product three here 
And if I hover on the updated card, it shows the product tree. So, so you are now able to able to add the product and display it to the state of the uh, card, and uh, that's great. Now we are able to store all the all the product in in a list, and that displayed the output using the card state. So let's go back to the terminal. Uh, sorry, let's go back to the emulator, and you see here there is a nice looking button here and then once I click on here this is going to display all the products which are added to the card so this is the end of this part so in the next video we're going to do is to show all the products which are added to the card and displayed here right inside the uh, card list item right so thank you for watching this video and I'm going to see you guys for the next part